Good morning, Quackcopter101 here, and I have an interesting little drone for you today. This is the LSRC XD1 Pro. Looking at this little thing, you notice it's tiny and very lightweight. Obviously, this is well under 250 grams and does not require registration or remote ID. So, this makes it, um, additionally, this make, is an excellent little drone for beginner pilots who want to learn to fly drones, but uh, don't want to just uh, shovel out a bunch of money on an expensive drone and lose it. <laughs> okay, this is an excellent drone to learn to fly with. Okay, you start out to learn the basics of drone flight, and this is more than appropriate in doing such. And I'll go into details here and shortly why. Okay, notice right away this tiny, obviously this does not weigh over 250 grams, and as such does not require registration or remote ID in most countries. Some countries might require registration because it does come with a camera, but most countries do, will not require you to register this tiny little drone. Um, other things about it, it's design okay you notice this design it this design is obviously inspired by another drone <laughs> but uh the design of it is uh a combination a hybrid of plastic and metal okay the arms on this are aluminum alloy arms to support the motors and the rest of the drone is mostly plastic as expected <laughs> okay in this price range keep in mind this thing only runs about 20 to 30 dollars in that price range down you know relatively very inexpensive most people can afford this little thing um other things about it it is powered by brushed motors these are 716 brushed motors they provide more than enough power to lift this little drone and actually make it somewhat aerobatic um fun to fly sporty little drone in, in other words uh let's see other things about it it is powered also by this 3.7 volt 600 milliamp hour battery that gives it up to 20 minutes, not 20, what am I saying, 20 minutes, up to 8 minutes of flight time. Now you charge this battery through a little micro USB port right there. And it has a little red light that goes out when it's fully charged to tell you when it's time to unplug it and go fly your drone. Other things about this drone, it does have an optical flow sensor on the belly. Now this optical flow sensor actually is relatively accurate and effective. Okay, um, it makes it very easy for beginner pilots. What this does, folks, is looks directly beneath the drone, and based on what it sees, it automatically maintains hover position of this drone in the sky, preventing it from drifting right or left, you know, away, even not in the wind. You know, there is going to be a limit. Okay, it's not entirely effective, but uh, in low breeze conditions or indoors, it actually works rather well. Um, additionally, it also has altitude hold. Now, altitude hold is a little barometric sensor inside there that automatically maintains altitude of the drone. So, in effect, with the altitude hold and the optical flow system, this drone should maintain its position automatically in space without you having to provide any input to keep it there, okay, as compared to older drones that don't have those type of systems. Let's see, other things about it, it does have flip capability. This drone is capable of doing some aerobatics, namely flips, where it'll flip around 360 degree flip in the air. I'll demonstrate that also when we take it outdoors. I don't re recommend doing those flips indoors though, folks. And you'll obviously see why when I do these flips out outdoors, because it requires a lot of altitude to do such, <laughs> okay, to recover from the flip. Let's see other things about it. It has a camera, as I mentioned earlier, but this camera is only a 480p camera, 480p sensor built into it. Um, and with that uh, camera, this camera can be manually tilted before you take off, up or down 15 degrees. If you wish to fly FPV, point it up. If you want to see yourself on the ground, you can point it downward, like so. Let's see other things about it. Um, the uh, video is recorded onto your phone. The FPV video can be viewed and recorded onto your phone using the Wi-Fi UAV app available on Play and on the App Store. And with that app, when it records to your phone, it records at 480p and electronically enlarges it to your phone. Um, the video is electronically enlarged to uh, 1080p at 24 frames per second on your phone. And the photos, the still photos, are frame grabs of that video, that 480p frame grab. That is, again, electronically enlarged up to 8K. What is the advantage of doing that? None. It's still it's going to look like a 480p video or a 480p still photo um, it's just a marketing ploy that most of these drone manufacturers of the toy drones 
use these days. So keep in mind, there's no real advantage to saying my drone can take an 8K photo because it's just going to be an elect electronically enlarged from that 480p. Let's talk about the controller. This is the controller. It supposedly gives you out to 100 meters range. You're not going to be able to fly this tiny little drone out to 180 meters. I'll tell you right why right now. Um, this the Wi-Fi that this uses with the Wi-Fi UAV app is common 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi. This controller is also operating on 2.4 gigahertz. The Wi-Fi and the controller signal tend to interfere with each other, so expect real FPV range of about 30 to 40 meters that you'll be able to see uh, on your phone. And um, control range might go out to 100 meters, but you're going to lose video from this at 30 to 40 meters. And as such, you're not going to be also be able to see this past 30 to 40 meters, this tiny little drone. So uh, the ability to fly out to 100 meters is really iffy. You know? <laughs> so you're not going to be able to really control because you're not going to be able to see it, in other words. Okay, other things about it. The controller, um, it does have a flip button up here. You activate it by pressing this button here. And tell the uh, drone which direction to flip forward, backward, left, or right. By the way, this is your pitch stick, your roll stick, and your throttle, and your yaw. Throttle makes it go up or down. Yaw makes it turn right or left. Pitch makes it tilt forward or back. And roll makes it uh, move right or left. So that's what those sticks do there. Other things about it, um, it does have rates control button which you activate by pressing this button here that makes the drone fly faster and more nimble um, you have three rates beginners intermediate and expert which you activate again by pressing that button here uh, with altitude hold you also have automatic takeoff and automatic land capability you can if you notice the drone is drifting indoors without any wind you can adjust that by placing the drone on a flat level surface and recalibrating its gyros and you do that by pressing that button here it does have headless mode, and what headless mode does is remember the direction that the drone was pointed at takeoff, and based on that direction, no matter which way the drone is pointed, forward would always be in the direction that it was taken at, or at takeoff, back will always be in the opposite direction, and left and right will also be in relation to the direction it was pointed at takeoff when in headless mode. Uh, the buttons on this, you have trim buttons here. Again, these come into play if you're flying indoors and you notice the drone drifting you can counter that by, uh, say if it's drifting to the left, you can counter that by pressing the right button until the drifting stops. And uh, similarly, if it's drifting forward, you can counter that, sorry, I bumped the camera, by pressing the back button, like so, until that drifting stops. Again, this only comes, these trim buttons only come into play indoors when there's no wind. Okay, let's go over what you get in the box. You obviously get the controller, you get the drone, you get the instruction manual, which is a well-written instruction manual, by the way. I'm impressed. <laughs> you get the instruction manual for the Wi-Fi UAV app, which is not as well-written. Um, again, the controller, the drone, a, and you get one or two batteries, I believe, depending on if you wish an additional battery. I would recommend getting two because these batteries only last about eight minutes of flight time per charge. So if you want to keep flying, you're going to probably want two Additionally, you get a spare set of propellers, a charging cable for the batteries, and a uh, screwdriver. And the screwdriver is for opening up the back of... No, it's not. In this case, this one doesn't have one of those safety things. But you can open up the back of this controller by this little knob here. And let me show you. Let me, I forgot to tell you what type of batteries this takes. Let's close this so I can't open it. Okay. <laughs> Sorry about the delay. But you can open it that way, and then it takes three... Triple A batteries to power this particular controller. So that is the LSRC XD1. Hope you enjoyed this. Let's take it out into the field and see how it flies. So hope you enjoyed this flight. Good morning, Quadcopter 101 here, and welcome to the indoor test flight of the little XD1. I'm flying in my garage today, folks. Uh, gives me a little more space to do acrobatics. I'm going to try to do that with this. Well, not real acrobatics, but funnels and such like that. Okay. <laughs> To turn this on, you have to press and hold the on-off switch like so. And it's on. We'll place it on a flat level surface, namely my garage floor. And then we turn on the controller, and it seems to be bound. Okay, let's try automatic takeoff. And it's holding its position. Let's go over here, actually. Go up a bit higher. 
and see how this optical flow system is working indoors. Well, yeah, I guess it is. <laughs> it's already in position. Let me rotate it. Uh, drifted a little bit on rotation, but okay, it stops itself. Now it's going downward. I'm not sure why, but that's its altitude hold feature. <laughs> There's no wind in here, folks, but that's okay. Let's see if we can do some uh, maneuvers with it. First off, this does have flip capability. Let's go up a bit and try to flip. Almost hit my garage door opener. And going over here and doing a left flip. So, okay, how about forward flips? Can it do forward flips? No, only right and left flips on this particular drum. Let's go to higher rate. Let's see what its maneuverability is in medium rate. I can maneuver indoors. So as a little indoor flyer, this works. <laughs> Let's go a bit higher on the rates. Going forward a bit. Okay, high rate. Zoom. <laughs> Those are called funnels back in the days. <laughs> uh, uh, don't do it. Oh, there goes the propeller. <laughs> Don't do those flips too close to the ground, folks. It don't like it. So let's put the propeller back on. It popped off. There we go. Propeller back installed. And also, watch this little antenna. Bend it downward. It tends to get up close to the propeller. You don't want to cut it off with that propeller. So bend it downward, folks. Let me check the props, make sure they're okay. Everything still looks good. Coming back over again, putting it back on the ground. Stepping away, see if we can get another takeoff. And making sure the optical flow system's still working. It is. So I'm going back to intermediate rate, second rate. That one seems to be the, the most maneuverable indoors. The other one's a little bit extreme, but this one works. <laughs> Funky little drone. Right? Funky looking little drone. I'm going to come bring it up close to you so you can see it. But there it is. The XD1. <laughs> kind of a mini Inspire. Kind of. But yeah, it's maneuverable. Zoom. I did it again. Oh. my glasses off for it so I can see up close but that doesn't help me when I want to go a little farther out like that <laughs> so, <laughs> but let's put it back on the ground that's two crashes folks by me all my fault but it shows it's crash worthy it's kinda <laughs> fun little drone okay so yeah this flies indoors well and it's holding its position on concrete, on a concrete surface. So let's take it outdoors next and see how it flies there, folks. So hope you enjoy the second part of this flight. Let's try the automatic land button. Zoom, zoom, zoom. There we go. So yeah, again, let's take it outdoors now and see how this performs outdoors. So hope you enjoy the second part of this flight. Good morning, Quadcopter 101 here, and welcome to the outdoor test flight of the XD1 drone. My dog wants to come out here and play too, but unfortunately, no, she's going to try to grab it. <laughs> okay, so this has already been connected, folks, and we have screen recording, and this is Wi-Fi UAV app available on Play on, on the App Store, and I am going to hit Start, and we have Wi-Fi FPV, and I'm going to hit Recording on the video. Video recording has started, and try to start the motors by down and out. Well, that's actually compass calibration, what I just did. Down and in, starts the motors, automatic takeoff. And let's see how that optical flow system is working. Seems to be working. Let's go out a little bit. Go up a bit higher. And check its stability. Yeah, it's holding. Okay, while we're here, 
Let's try the flips. Right flip. Left flip. Going forward a bit. Forward flip. <laughs> I don't want to do no four number flips. Okay, let's go up and show you the camera. Going to higher rate, second rate, third rate. There is a wind. We're up there. Let's see if that optical flow system is going to drift or if it'll stop. Uh, it seems to be stopping a bit. <laughs> Coming down a little lower. Oh, okay. This only does left and right flips, obviously. Okay, it's doing them up there in the sky, though. Let's go show what the neighborhood looks like. I'm turning and rotating. That's the camera. Let's come down lower and lower that camera a bit. I'm going to land it, folks. Again, you have to manually, manually move the camera down to see the ground <laughs> a little bit better. So we're going to do that. Let's tilt it down just a little bit more. And take off again. Automatic takeoff. Okay, let's go to highest rate. Oh, that's a flip. <laughs> so those of you who like flips, this one does them well. Actually, this seems to fly very well. Oh my goodness, it's actually very sporty. <laughs> Oops, I shouldn't have hit that like that. Automatic takeoff. I think the there we go. Now it's drifting with the wind. Will it stop? There we go. Optical flow system's working again. How do you like my shirt today, folks? Now that camera is a bit blurry. I did take a, a film off the front of that, but it's still a bit blurry. So that's not the best camera in the world on this particular drone. But let's do a flip again. Okay, no more flips. <laughs> so, unless you're real high, let's try that. There we go. You got to be relatively high to do these flips. Indoors, I wouldn't do them. <laughs> it likes to do flips, though. I'll give you that. Now, let's just fly it. Camera's not the greatest. It is a good flyer, though. I can tell you that right now. Very maneuverable. Very maneuverable. But it, it turns, seems to be turning on its own there. Okay. Let's bring it up here and let's get a thumbnail while we're here. That's the optical flow system holding it steady. So it does work on this little tiny thing. And it's such an oddball looking little drone, ain't it? <laughs> Weird looking little drone. Let's try funnels. Coming back down. <laughs> it climbs rather well. Let's do that again. Let's give it a, let's punch it. Oh, well, that's its punch. <laughs> Zippy little drone. XD1. Weird shape, huh? Now, there we go. Optical flow. Syncing it up. Optical flow in works. And let's take a photo. We haven't done a photo yet. Stop in the video recording. Smile. Cheese. Another one. Cheese. Backing up a bit. Photo. Wait, wait, wait. Coming down a bit. Photo. And then, yeah, that optical flow on this seems to be working well. Now, the flight time on this, I don't know. Yeah. It's been a while since I've been flying, flow a little, um, these are micro sport flyers. And I think we're about the end of the flight time on this. <laughs> starting to get a little bit uh, slow on response. Let's see if we can take off again. The wind's picking up, but automatic takeoff. Yeah, we still got some more flight time. 
So yeah, the wind's picking up a little bit here, but don't seem to care on this overcast day. Boy, I've been waiting for good weather to fly, folks, for three, four weeks. <laughs> That's why I haven't been uh, posting lately. The weather, the weather has been really awful here. And here you had snow. We had snow. We had rain. Okay, it's starting to land itself, so I've got a feeling that it's getting low. Oh, we had high winds, heavy overcast, really dark skies, and that's why I haven't been posting. Okay, let's see if I can still flip. No, that means the battery's getting low. Yeah, battery's low, so we'll fly it until it lands. But yeah, this for beginner pilots, um, this would be good. Keep it down low, don't send it up real high, folks. Uh, this is not a high flyer. This is a beginner's learn to fly drone for actually for kids, <laughs> I would say. Um, and beginner pilots, even adults, you will learn to uh, use uh, the controls of a drone with this particular drone at this price. You know, so, you know, for a little over $20, uh, you learn the basics of flight. So, and yeah, that's not too bad. So, and it is a funky looking little drone, isn't it? <laughs> so, okay, hear that beeping? That's the telemetry warning. We have telemetry in this of low battery, and that's good too. It tells you when you're getting your battery's getting low, and it does such, giving it more throttle to keep it in the air, waiting until it lands itself, and which it seems to be doing shortly here. How much more flight time do we got? Don't know. Starting the video recording one more time for the, the last few seconds. So all in all syncing up the cameras all in all a good beginner's drone you'll learn to use the flight controls of a drone with this particular drone you know they they're all pretty much standard for all drones you know up down right left uh, yaw pitch and roll you will learn to use that and that's important so and then when you want to progress to a more expensive drone you'll be able to and you have those skills with this little 24 dollar drone or whatever it, the price of it is right currently so okay going up again slowly showing my house there and uh, going up a bit more. I want to see what happens when the battery finally does expire. And here's what it does. It lands itself. It comes down, comes down, comes down, comes down, comes down. And that's the flight time you get with this, folks. So neat little drone. Hope you enjoyed this flight. This is Quadcopter 101. Quadcopter 101 signing out. Hi, Quadcopter101 here again. Hey, if you want to get your own shout out in one of my future videos, make sure you subscribe to my channel. It's real simple. Just go to my channel page and click on that subscribe. And also make sure to click that bell button right next to the subscribe button. That way you get notified when I release a brand new video immediately and give you a chance to get that first shout out. So give it a try, folks. <music>